In your case, growing up in a home with artists, like when you went to school, did you, were you, did you realize you were sort of different and your home was different than others? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I did. I, but I went, to, I went to a series of English country schools. It's difficult to explain to Americans. It's like the families that went there were a particular sort of breed. It was very, it was very uh, Land Rovers and and, right. and Parkers and Wellingtons and hunting, shooting, and fishing on the weekends. And, and Switzerland in the winter. Yeah, and Switzerland in the winter and all that kind of yeah. thing. And really, sort of you know British class system in full operation. And I, I just didn't fit in in that world. It was it was very peculiar. I didn't really know where to place myself in that. English boarding school world. It was it was strange. A lot of the time, it was very strange. I mean, like to give you one example, <laughs> my mum's best friend was a, a a dancer. His name is Amir Hosempour. He's Persian. I think at the time he must have been about nineteen years old. So my mother's however old she is at this point. I'm seven. I'm doing a school production of The Little Mermaid in a barn. Um, and I am playing the titular Little Mermaid. Right. Quite excited Ariel, about or... it, exactly. But like, they were late. I came out to do the the uh, the solo, and I'm sort of you know because every seven year old is like sure. doing that and waving at their parents, and I'm like, oh, and they're not here. They're not here. It's so upsetting. They're not here. At which point the back door barn doors open, and in walks my mother in. F and also, like, set visually, set the scene. This is a sea of green parkas and right. and white and, and blonde and hairdos hunter and boots exactly and... hunter boots and very you know very sort of beige coloured. Right. <laughs> and the doors open and in walks my mother in full black, sunglasses, black hair, red lipstick, and a mirror next to her, who is six foot three. Uh, has hair down to here. At the time, I called him Pocahontas, which I'm not even sure is really acceptable, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, had hair down to here, and he was in a full-length leather trench coat, like, for all the way to the floor. God. Also in sunglasses. They walked in like, they looked like they're fucking, excuse me, I think Matrix. I mean, it really was like... <laughs> <laughs> it was like the Matrix had just entered the room. And, of course, the whole auditorium just, like... <laughs> and spend the whole time looking at them. But yeah, so that, I mean, in that sense, yes. I mean, it was so exotic. <laughs>